The purpose of this vodcast is to refresh your memory on scientific notation. Scientific notation is something that we use quite a bit in chemistry because it helps us make really large numbers and really small numbers more manageable to use. Um, for example, in chemistry, you can look at the top of this page here. It says one gram of hydrogen contains this many hydrogen atoms. That's a really, really big number. You're not going to write that number on a piece of paper. When you're doing a math problem, you're going to put it into scientific notation to use it. Likewise, down here we have an example of a really small number. The mass of an atom of gold is 0 .000000, so on and so forth, 327 grams, which as you can see, because the decimal is all the way over here on the left-hand side, it's a really tiny number. So the way that we would put those into scientific notation is right now the decimal place for that number is back here behind the zero. And we want the decimal place for scientific notation to be up here behind the six. So what we have to do is we have to count how many places it's going to take to get the decimal from here to behind the six. So we would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. And so it would be twenty-three places to get the decimal from back here all the way over behind the six. So the way that we would write that into scientific notation is we would write 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. The positive exponent tells us that we move the number to the left. If we would take this number out of scientific notation, it's telling us to take 6.02 and multiply that number by 10 23 times. That would be the same thing as sliding the decimal 23 times to the right which is how you would get that number. Let's look at the example of a really small number. The mass of an atom of gold is, so right now what we want to do is take the decimal and move it over here so it's behind the three. So again, we have to count how many spaces this would be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So the way we would write this number is 3.27 times 10 to the negative 22nd grams. This negative exponent tells us that we move the decimal to the right. If we were going to take this number out of scientific notation, we would take the decimal and we would divide by, one, we would divide by 10 22 times. So we'd move the decimal in that direction. Now, there's two important parts to a number in scientific notation. First of all, the coefficient. This part right here is the coefficient, and this is the coefficient. The coefficient is the number out in front. And this tells us that the coefficient has to be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. What that means in simple terms is that the decimal point always goes behind the first number that's not a 0. So 6.02, 3.27, always one number in front of the decimal when it's in scientific notation. The exponent tells how many times to multiply or divide the coefficient by 10. If it's a positive exponent, you're multiplying. And if it's a negative exponent, you're dividing the coefficient by 10. On the next slide, we're going to look at two places that tend to trip people up with scientific notation. When you have an exponent of 1, 5.6 times 10 to the first, that means you have to move the decimal one space to the right. So that number is the same as 56. Times 10 to the first means that you move the decimal place once to the right, and again that number would be 56. When you have a power of zero, that would just be the same number. Because again, the exponent is telling you how many times to move the decimal point to the left or the right, to divide or multiply, Zero means you don't move it at all, so it stays 5.6. Let's take a look at a few examples. What we're going to do with the first two is put them into scientific notation. Okay, so uh, with the first one, 4,500, the decimal place is right behind that last zero. So what we would need to do is 1, 2, 3 to the left we would say that that number is 4.5 times 10 to the third. 
If you look at the next example, again, the decimal point is back here. We want it up here behind the 3. One number at all times in front of the decimal place when your number's in scientific notation. So we're going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that number's going to be 3.802 times 10 to the 5th. And don't forget it's a negative number. That decimal place, moving it back and forth, does not change the sign of a number. You do scientific notation the exact same way for a number that's positive as you do for a number that's negative. Down here, 0.175, the way we would put that into scientific notation is we would move the decimal to the right this time. So that number would be 1.75 times 10 to the negative 1 because we move the decimal to the right. And down here, we're going to end up with 3.4 times 10 to, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 to the negative 8. So again, if you have to move the decimal to the left, positive exponent. If you have to move the decimal to the right, it would be a negative exponent. The last thing we're going to do is practice taking numbers out of scientific notation. If you look at the first example, 5 times 10 to the positive 4th, what we're going to do is we're going to move that decimal place 4 places to the right. It's the same as multiplying by 10 4 times. So what we're going to do is take the decimal, which is right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that number is going to be 50,000. The next one, again, a positive exponent, so we're going to move the decimal place 2 to the right. That will give us 630. The last two, we have negative exponents, so in this case, we're going to be dividing by 10 or moving the decimal place to the left. It's the same thing. Again, don't let this negative sign in the front throw you off. You do it the exact same way. So with this case, negative uh, 3, we're going to move the decimal 1, 2, 3 to the left. and that will give us negative .00705. And in the last example, 9.24 times 10 to the negative first, we need to move the decimal place one spot to the left, so we would get .924.